Russia and China are testing the world order for strength. International security created after World War II has become hopelessly outdated. As the Russian Federation fights in Europe and the Chinese military attempts to gain dominance in the Pacific Rim, Russia and China are trying to shake up the world. As a response, the U.S. has boosted its defense budget to $886 billion. As you watch this video, every U.S. defense company works hard. The latest technology is undergoing final tests before deployment to military bases. You will see it directly now, but the world will discuss it in a few months. Due to the new external threats, the new U.S. security system is based on NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance. This video presents a new concept of warfare, the sixth generation fighter, the first jewel in the crown of U.S. security. NGAD is a program that costs well over $200 million per fighter jet, and the aircraft that it shoots down is more than just an aircraft. NGAD is a combat control center that monitors and controls the entire fighter aircraft network. As the war in Ukraine shows, the number of combat-ready aircraft still plays a significant role in the conflict. Other U.S. Air Force fighters are also involved, the F-16, F-35, and F-22. It should be noted that where it is more expedient to use UAVs, the sixth-generation fighters will engage in battle with a flight of Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie drones armed with JDAM or GBU-39 guided bombs in conjunction with the sixth-generation fighters. The scheme of modern combat now looks like this. F-16 fighters provide a numerical advantage in the air and keep a high level of fire on enemy ground forces. A link of F-22 fighters covers the F-16's actions. Moreover, stealthy UAVs such as the Kratos XQ-58 Valkyrie and F-35 penetrate operational depths and attack air defenses behind enemy lines as a sixth-generation fighter hovers 60,000 feet above the battlefield. It is estimated that the radio horizon of an airborne radar reaches 370 to 400 miles at this height which is two to three times greater than the radio horizon of conventional fighters. As a result, NGAD pilots can identify, detect, and track dozens of targets on the battlefield. In addition, the information is also transmitted to other tactical members of Link-16. For example, sixth-generation fighter pilots can detect mobile installations such as the S-400, S-300, and even the MLRS systems. It is well known that reconnaissance satellites have little power over mobile systems. Using sixth-generation fighters in modern warfare is extremely important. They are essential for counter-battery combat and protection against cruise missiles in the new defense system. In other words, defensive actions at both the tactical and operational levels. U.S. missile defense systems have enough time to prepare to destroy incoming cruise missiles if the enemy attacks with cruise missiles because the fighter's avionics detect launches and accompany the U.S. missile defense system in advance. A significant advantage of the sixth generation fighters is their ability to attack independently. This gives them an advantage in the fight against hypersonic missiles when early detection is essential to a successful defense. However, the main advantage of the NGAD program is the ability to create fighters in various configurations and bases. The most reputable American companies participating in the program are Lockheed, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman. NGAD has coupled its efforts with technology to develop the sixth generation sea-based fighter, the FAXX, the second diamond in the U.S. defense system. Thanks to a combination of efforts and technologies within the framework of NGAD, the FAXX has been developed. The new stealth fighter for the United States Navy uses standard systems with the NGAD. This significantly accelerated its appearance. However, there are fundamental differences in terms of performance and weapons when compared with the NGAD. Despite being unable to fly on Mach 5, 
the FAXX can stay in the air without refueling for a long time. It has a combat radius of 1,000 miles. As a result, aircraft carriers in the United States Pacific Fleet will be able to control the Yellow Sea, the East China Sea, and the South China Sea while remaining at a safe distance from the coast of mainland China. A second feature of the FAXX is the ability to take off from an aircraft carrier without a catapult and land like a helicopter without using a catapult. As a result, FAXX will not interfere with the continued operation of the F-35C Lightning II and F-A-18EF Super Hornet, which are currently armed on U.S. aircraft carriers. The most revolutionary decision concerns FAXX's weapons. FAXX will be equipped with a directed energy weapon, a laser gun. U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory data indirectly confirm this information. A laser cannon can act against the new threats in recent months. The laser beam is excellent at dealing with hypersonic anti-ship missiles since the laser beam does not take into account the speed of the target. There is also another benefit of a laser weapon encountering low-speed, low-cost kamikaze drones, which ships have to spend a great deal of money to neutralize. This is because the cost of one conditional shot from a laser weapon is only 99 cents. The efforts of specialized ultra-modern fighters cannot achieve absolute safety or victory. Therefore, we will discuss the next generation bomber, costing $25 billion per unit. As a result, this aircraft became a third gem in the United States security system. Northrop Grumman's updated bomber is designated the B-21 because it combines the advantages of the B-1 and the B-2. The Raider was named after the U.S. Air Force pilots who avenged Pearl Harbor. B-21 Raiders are designed to attack command posts, secret military bases, weapons plants, factories, oil depots, communication centers, and air defense centers behind enemy lines. The B-21 Raider overcomes layers of air defense calmly. After completing the task, it returns to base after being invisible in the infrared range due to its composite body and exhaust system. The Raider's bomb bays hold 13 tons of weapons, including air-to-ground missiles with nuclear warheads. It is armed with smart bombs as well as air-to-ground missiles. However, its main advantage is that it is capable of using rockets that are just being tested. These include hypersonic missiles. In the past, there was a significant limitation on the offensive potential of the United States. The number of bombers available to the United States was at its lowest level in history before the advent of the B-21 Raider. After several aircraft have been released, the cost of each instance will drop to a price of approximately $2 billion after the problem has been solved. As number four on today's list, Boeing's Loyal Wingman Unmanned Bomber is designed to operate with the B-21 Raider and can be used with other human-crewed aircraft. In addition to the F-22 Raptor Fighter and the F-35 Lightning II, the Gateway 1 Network Gateway supports XQ-58A Valkyrie Crewless Aerial Vehicles (UAVs). U.S. security can't function without its loyal wingman, the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat. The device's combat radius is 1,000 miles. This figure is almost twice that of the F-35 and F-22, but it matches the characteristics of the 6th generation fighter and the B-21 Raider bomber. The length and span of the wing indicate not a very large combat load. A 36-foot light aircraft is unlikely to carry more than a ton of missiles and bombs. Ghost bats can drop more than 20 tons of bombs and rockets on their enemies' heads if they fly out on a mission accompanied by one bomber or fighter, enough to destroy even the most fortified position. The U.S. Air Force is expected to create thousands of loyal wingman units, making the Boeing MQ-28 Ghost Bat a significant player. It's unquestionably the fifth gem codenamed Mayhem Expendable Hypersonic Air-Breathing Multi-Mission Demonstrator Program that came closest to becoming a reality. 
As a 100-foot hypersonic multi-role fighter, the Lockheed Martin SR-72 will soon become a central figure in the U.S. Air Force. It will change the balance of power in Europe and the Pacific. The SR-72 can reach speeds of 4,000 miles per hour and altitudes of 80,000 feet. The aircraft's engine is 3D printed. It operates up to 2,000 miles per hour like a traditional supersonic turbojet engine. Ramjet rockets operate at speeds of over 2,000 miles per hour. Its maneuverability is impressive. The SR-72 maneuvers with the help of a movable cone in the nose. Even a slight change in angle causes the flow to redistribute, and the aircraft changes direction accordingly. So far, the SR-72's armament remains secret. The armament is likely to be heavily influenced by missions. The SR-72 can act as a missile carrier and launch missiles from distant regions. The Lockheed Martin SR-72 intercepts hypersonic missiles with a laser gun. It can also serve as a reconnaissance aircraft, since neither the Chinese nor the Russian air defense systems can counter hypersonic aircrafts. It is still unclear how SR-72 will affect our future. According to the U.S. National Security and Defense Strategy, China is the top issue, Russia is an acute threat, and North Korea, Iran, and violent extremist groups are persistent threats. Subscribe to our channel and like this video to be the first to hear about new weapons and the situation.